I'm hoping it's upper 70s, lower 80s. God, I have no idea what the water temp is here. I would assume, I'm hoping it's upper 70s, lower 80s. I have no idea, I don't even know what, what am I gonna start with? Um, frog? Do I have a frog tied on? I do. I do have a frog, we'll throw a frog for a little bit. Drag's good. As much as I wanna throw a frog, I don't wanna throw a frog. not on anymore okay they're in there when i put this hook on the first time i was like nah it might be just a tad short I just didn't have them at all well, this hook should be fine just didn't get them it's like in the back of my mind that this hook just might be a little small but it's not i'm like kind of a i like to overcompensate for my hooks for some reason i like nice big big hooks when flipping Another one. There we go. Oh, a little short, a little short. There we go. They're in here. First fish absolutely inhaled. A little blue baby bandito or bandito bug. I decided not to do like some talking intro because you guys kind of got the idea. I'm out here, I'm fishing. I'm seeing if they're on any sort of a flipping bite because you guys know I love flipping. I'd rather flip and throw any kind of top water. I know top water season's coming up. Guggen actually has top waters coming out in like two weeks, but I'm all about flipping. You guys know I love flipping. I love it, and they're munching. Damn, I wasn't recording, guys. A second ago, I just had it literally in a fish's mouth, and it felt kind of heavy, so I was just kind of like, okay, it's kind of strange. Maybe I'm hooked on the base, and all of a sudden the reeds go, pull it right out of its mouth. If you guys don't flip a lot, you actually, you will do that every once in a while, especially if you're flipping like heavy mats and, and not, not so much reeds, but like when you're fish, flipping grass, so many times I could tell you like down on the floor to be flipping, punching, lift up and I'm like, man, that's kind of heavy. And then it goes doof, doof, and you're like, oh my God, it was in his mouth the entire time. And then it gets out. But I know there's a lot of people that are probably wondering what I am uh, using. You know, I, I really don't go over technique a ton, but flipping's like my thing. I love it. I got 55 pound Guggen braid on, the eight strand braid. It's nice and smooth. I've got a seven, six heavy rod. Um, let's see, what else would you guys like to know? I've got it pegged with a three eighths ounce flipping weight with a tungsten. And then I've got a uh, four aught. I believe it's a four aught. I think it's a four aught flipping hook. And then of course a bandito bug. And I actually dyed the little bottom appendages on this blue baby. Here's the bluegill back here popping so that maybe just spicing it up just a tad we've caught one and lost two so not a fantastic start but there's something else i'm chewing on in the back of my mind is picking up this underspin and throwing this underspin in between all this stuff right here on the outer edge i mean this they should be chasing bait this time oh oh oh, oh. oh. should be chasing bait but they're up on these reeds doing the dirty and i have lost now three that would have been the perfect timing that would have been the best cue ever well i'm just kidding they're up here on the reeds and if you guys don't know this, I'm actually fairly quick when it comes to flipping this kind of stuff as I'm going down. You guys don't really get to see behind the scenes, but Cam, I don't know if he even realizes how fast I flip as I'm going down. I flip, I'll come up and down maybe one, one or two times and I'm on to the next little thing. Kind of like eliminating water as I go, like here to there to there to there. Just kind of quick, hoping I can knock one right in the head. Or catch the bottom of a reed. Back and forth game in my mind here. There he is. Oh, a little long. Okay, I know they're in here. There's just a matter of time before I flip and hit a big one right in the face. Ooh, I saw that.
There he is. Oh, come on. Damn it. The only downfall of the flipping thick stuff is you, lo you do lose fish. Maybe it's just because I don't have the touch right now. I've been hunting for like a month. Come back fishing, I just can't catch anything. Oh my. Oh, he's still on. This dude ate it right when it hit the water. Literally right when it hit the water. Whoa. Dude. He came up and smoked it over the top of a pad. I know, it's just a little baby. This is actually starting to feel pretty good. I don't know if you guys know this. I was legitimately feeling a little burned out on fishing about two months ago. I didn't even want to fish at all. But now coming back after hunting for a month, I feel rejuvenated. I feel like I'm going back in my zone. I feel pretty good out here. They're starting to bite. Got any big ones yet? It's going to happen. There's now wind coming in right here. Can you see this right there with the pads and the wind that's coming in on it? They can just get up there with a little swim jig, with a little swim bait on back that. They could just start munching. But you know what? When they're biting, when they're flipping, I'm probably not going to switch. Because I love the feel. The dong. The dong. You know what I mean? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back to fishing. It's funny as a lot of you guys may be thinking, Oh my gosh, Rob's burnt out on fishing. Poor Rob. No, no, that's not what I meant. I meant more like, you know when you do something so much? Even like when you play a video game so much or anything, you're kind of like, ah, I just need a break. I need a break. I do this every day over and over and over against the same thing. Pick up a rod, flip, cast, flip, cast, catch a bass. Doom, I just needed... I'm glad I needed that little break with hunting. I'm like super rejuvenated and excited for the spawn, even though it's now just October. Okay, so I originally had this jig tied onto a rod that had 15 pound test on it. This is actually one of the new Guggen jigs, but I decided since these, since these fish aren't line shy and they've eaten with braid already, I'm gonna go ahead and just flip over to a rod that had braid on it that had the frog on it. But anyway, these new jigs are coming out very soon here in the next two to four weeks. And if you guys did not know this, you guys can go to shopcarls.com, which will be linked to the very top of the description. You guys can sign up for the email to receive a notification when the jigs or the top waters or the swim baits, anything like that starts coming out. You guys will be the first, first to know. Just in case you're wondering, you guys can go to Shop Carls, which is linked to the very top. It always is. And uh, yeah. If you guys want to know about jigs or topwater baits, any of, the, any of the stuff that's coming out, you guys can find out instantly right there. I mean, just look at that thing. We did something different on the head of these. I guess I can show you guys. I hope, hopefully maybe the GoPro shows it. I don't know if it does. You guys see the head's just shaped a little bit different. We put the weight of it. This is 3 8 ounce. It's pretty. We got three different kinds coming out too, so all the heads are different. See if we can actually get one to eat though. That would be even better. Probably need to loosen that drag just eat. Uh, maybe just a little more. Oh my, oh my, he hit it right when it hit the water. God, are you still pinned? Yeah, you are. There we go. I'm talking right when it hit the water. The jig didn't have, didn't have two seconds of being in the water. The fish came up and smoked it. What the heck? First fish on one of these new Guggen jigs I was literally just talking about. I actually broke one off a second ago somehow. I don't know, maybe I had a bad tying job. I don't know. Switched over to a uh, different color, another 3 8 ounce. That's not a bad fish, huh? Really long fish. Really long fish. Summertime. Coming off summertime. Should be should be fattening up for fall, but I don't know if you guys saw that. Right when it hit the water, he was like, <laughs> sucked it up. It was quick. There we go. There she goes. So same with just about anything else. Any type of scrap that I get from like my bandito bug after it gets torn up from, from flipping, I literally just use it as a trailer. Like that. Look at that. There we go. That is a dirty combo right there. God, I can't believe he came. I mean, it wasn't over a pad or nothing. It was just me flipping into the water. He ate it like a top water. It's pretty cool. Oh, yep. Did you see that? That was awesome. Oh, no. Is he still on there? Oh, that was so cool. He's still on there. He's still on there. Come on, work your way out. <clears throat> Dude, they are coming after this jig. I mean, this fish darted and just hammered the crap out of it. See if I can get him though. I know he's still on there. A little bit of pressure. Yep, I can see him. I can see him. Oh my God, he is wrapped. Oh, I can barely see him. Ah. Got him. Got him. Look at that. He came through and just hammered the crap out of this 
jig, which is now stuck pretty good in his mouth. That little dude right there, I don't know if on this little GoPro showed it well enough. Oh, there he goes. But he literally came from over here and went doo -doo, boom, hammered it. That's good. Tell you guys, I was flipping just a straight up bandito bug. And this is just one of the old pieces that was getting torn up from flipping. I think maybe they just like this bigger presentation. That could be it. Okay, now we're having some. Well, let me try to get this out of here. There he is. Come on, baby, good. He's still on. He's still on. I could see him. I could see him. He's still on there. They are burying themselves in this really thick stuff. There's one. There he is. Oh, it's another good fish. Another good one. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Wow, he was in there. Another one coming on that jig. Wow, the jig's producing the big fish. Thinking to myself, man, I need to move. I literally picked up the trolling motor and then put it back down and said, no, they're here. I know they're here. Look at that. There we go. Ooh, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh... ow, 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 ow. That doesn't feel good. Go away. God, these fish have just shut off. What time is it? 11.30, I haven't caught a fish in over an hour. It's the time of the year still. But I will say this, it's actually starting to turn on slightly better than what it has been. Well, for me at least, because I haven't fished in over uh, probably about two months now. That was probably one of the better morning of fishing in the last couple months, though. I will say that. I mean, we got one, four, probably two four pounders and a couple smaller ones, but the flipping bites, what I really care about in that thing, really started turning. I, I don't understand why this isn't on. You guys see how there's chop coming on these pads? I just don't think they're all out here chasing yet. I think they're all tucked up in there, on this lake at least. There is a gentleman over there, he's been flipping the reeds over by the dam pretty much all morning, so. All right, well I'm gonna put all this kind of stuff up right here real quick. And then when I get back over to the HQ, I'll show you guys the three jigs or the three different kind of jigs that we have. I'm pretty sure I could show you guys that because they'll be coming out here soon. But um, there's, a, there's a significant difference between like the flipping and the casting in like the, say the football head. Like there's quite a bit of difference. And uh, I think maybe, I'm not gonna say it was too heavy, but the, the, um, the swim jig that I had of ours was a half ounce. I didn't have any three eighths. I was flipping a three eighths. Um, I, I just haven't got any in yet because they, they're still making them, so. I'll see you guys here at the warehouse. And the opposite is true also. We're not supposed to look at Yeah, it was fun. So this is literally what I was gonna talk to you guys about. Look how many jigs I have. This is how many swim jigs. I've got like three. Here's a couple football head jigs. And then here's the flipping jigs I have of ours. That's uh, I don't have very much. Pretty much just have some leftover scraps from samples, pretty much <laughs> exactly what I got. So I wanted to show you guys real quick. This would be available by the end of this month is what I was told. And you got, like I said, you guys can go to Carl's and check them out, uh, sign up for the newsletter, you guys, or for the notification, you guys can, you guys gotta go to Carl's Bait and Tackle, like I said, it'll be linked at the top of the description. Uh, just, just type your email in, or I think that's what you put in. They'll send you, they'll send you an email when all this stuff comes available, if you're interested. So this is the flipping, let me, let me just pull them out real quick. Flipping, swim, Football. So here is the head of the flipping jig right there. You know what I'm talking about? See it's flat right there. It says half ounce right there on it, so you know exactly what you got. And you can tell ours is different when it comes to this brush garden. Stiff, nice and stiff. What you want? It's flat. It's not round. And here is the swim. Look at the head on that. It's more. It's, it's just able to uh, glide through pads and grass a bit e a bit easier. Once again, this is stiff. It's flat, not round. We did that for a reason. Oh, all these all these jigs, by the way are hand tied they are not with some cheap rubber band it's metal so your skirt's not going to slide down but that jig i mean look how good that jig looks and then here is the football head same deal we match the uh the uh <clears throat> the brush guard's been matched with the head as you can tell this one's brown it's like the head see how wide it is right there once again it's just three eighths size of the jig and it has got these little little indentions for the for when it's on the ground like that this thing's meant to stand straight up but anyway there you go i know there's some of you guys out there that like jigs they'll be out here in the next couple we'll say two to four weeks just go to carl's bait and tackle and uh just just sign up for the little newsletter they'll, they'll send you a notification when they are available i want to say thank you once again to all you guys that 
have watched these videos. We're, we're about to be in Mondo season for the next like month, month and a half, two months. Biggins will be caught. They're gonna start moving back shallow and eating some old bait fish. I'll see you guys later on another episode over here on Lunkers TV. I love you guys and uh,